Hello again, YouTube. It is 10:15 Friday night, November 16th, 2018, and I am just leaving the hospital after doing a consult on a patient that got admitted today. Um, she has widely metastatic breast cancer and um, has some dead jawbone uh, that developed probably as a side effect to some of the medications she takes for her cancer. Um, there's also some possibility that she had radiation to that area in the past, uh, but that's not as clear to me. Anyway, uh, no matter what the cause is, whether it's the drugs or the radiation or both, she does have some dead jaw here, and it, it looks like on the CAT scan that it extends kind of forward and then up towards the ear. So she's going to have a, a big surgery where we'll make an incision on the neck, possibly come across here, uh, and then we can gain access to the jaw and remove however much needs to come out. Um, and then some of the skin down here is not very healthy. It's going to have to be removed, and so we can make a vertical incision here on the neck and pull some of this skin up to close that wound. It's a four to possibly five hour surgery, give or take. Just kind of depends on how things go in the OR. Um, fortunately, I'm working with a very uh, skilled surgeon uh, to assist me, which really makes things easier. It's Dr. Ryan Linhart of South Texas Oral Surgery. Um, so um, it'll be, uh, you know, a long day, but kind of a, a satisfying day. You do something like that and you leave the OR feeling like you really helped somebody. Because as it is now, her face is swollen and it hurts and she's been dealing with this for quite some time. Um, if you or somebody you know um, has cancer in the bones, um, usually it's metastatic cancer, but could even be a primary bone cancer, and is going to undergo um, chemotherapy, especially um, taking IV bisphosphonates, although that's not the only type of drug that causes this problem. But if you know someone who's going to be taking IV bisphosphonates, like Zometa is a commonly known one, um, they really should be evaluated by a competent oral surgeon prior to starting the chemotherapy. Um, People develop this problem who have great teeth and really clean teeth, um, but it's more common in association with teeth that were already kind of problematic and those teeth triggered the problem or at least contributed to the problem. It's still not 100% certain exactly the mechanism of this problem developing due to these drugs. but. I, I will say that we know and what I see is that most commonly the patients who develop this problem had underlying dental problems. So prior to starting the drugs, it is good to get an opinion from an oral surgeon and possibly have some teeth removed. This is not the time to practice what I call uh, heroidonics, where we go to long and expensive lengths to save teeth. Um, if you have to lose some teeth as part of your cancer therapy, just think of it as part of that terrible disease. It's not something you did. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just a side effect of the cancer. And sometimes you've got to lose some teeth, or at least you should, just for safety's sake. Um, kind of branching off a little bit, but I have seen some general dentists that call themselves cancer dentists. Just so you know, there is no such thing. That's not a thing. It's not something people know about. It's not something that they've had training for. There is no training for that. Um, my training to be a cancer dentist is I went to medical school and then I treat cancer. Um, so just know that when you get diagnosed with cancer, it's scary. You're looking for answers. All kinds of information comes to you. And it's possible for one of these guys to kind of prey on you and present himself as some sort of expert and he's going to somehow do something with your teeth that's going to affect your cancer. Um, just run away from that. Find an oral surgeon uh, that is experienced um, and has dealt with complicated medical cases and can give you good advice. I'll just tell you as a rule of thumb, uh, if somebody's going to have radiation or be exposed to a lot of chemotherapeutic agents that put them at risk, I would... I'll recommend removing every tooth that has a root canal. I don't care if the root canal looks good or bad. Every tooth with a big old filling. Um, any teeth that have bad or, or pretty bad gum disease. And then if you're actually going to have radiation to your jaws, which is even higher risk than, than taking some of these chemotherapeutic drugs, 
I tell you, I recommend that all the molars be removed in that, um, in the, actually in both jaws and all four quadrants. And, and a lot of times there's discussion about which way is the radiation headed, how much radiation are you getting? I don't care. Um, if you're gonna have radiation to your jaws, I'm not talking about down in your neck, but if it's gonna come up here or get kind of close to the corner of your jaw, you ought to just take out the molars, take out the root canal treated teeth, take out the teeth with big fillings, and take out the teeth that have significant gum disease. And then when you do that, you gotta look at what's left. And if there's not enough left to be useful for chewing or aesthetics, then get rid of all the teeth and go to dentures. Now, if you have really great teeth, you've never had a filling in your mouth and you um, don't have gum disease and you're gonna get radiation to the jaws, then you should take out your molars and I think you can save premolar to premolar. So that's still a lot of teeth you're saving, but I would still take out the molars. If it were my mouth, I would take out the molars based on what I know. Uh, so sorry for the long rambling video and, and I'll have more videos that to go over these topics in the future. But uh, this is a common case. The lady that I saw tonight asked me about this. She's the second person I got called about for this today. Last Saturday, I did the same thing on a different fella. Um, the uh, the sales rep that uh, that that uh, provides our plates and screws that I use was laughing at me, saying that I'm a magnet for these dead jaws, and I, I don't know why, but I see a lot of them. Uh, and if you have the problem in River City Oral Surgery, or I can help you, hey, give us a call. Um, thanks. Bye.